Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to talk mostly about motors. Before we get into the motor stuff, I'm gonna show you a few more updates. You can see I made a little front cover over here, front and top over here. This will be basically the battery radio compartment. I made these ramps as well. They're actually two different versions. This one's a little, it sticks out a quarter inch further than this one. Slightly different angle. The top piece is the same. This one should be reversed, so this little cutout fits on here, but I actually just printed them all the one direction for testing. So this will help us drive when we get there. So let's take these motors apart and see what's going on. I took the gearboxes off the motors. This is the good motor. This is the bad motor. Ignore that for now. I'll fix that later. Just looking at them, I don't know if you can see in there very well, but it looks like, you know, a decent set of motor windings. You look in the bad one, where are we? Here we go, oh, yep, and you see, what is this? It looks like some sort of adhesive because this one has a very poor, loose winding job and it looks like instead of rejecting it, they just tried to glue the windings down. Not sure if that's rubbing or a piece of it's rubbing, but also, if I pull this out gently, it comes out pretty far. And if I try the good one, that's how far it comes out. It does seem like some part of this on the inside disintegrated. Maybe there was a plastic spacer there. This motor is just definitely not as high quality. You can even see that the back covers kind of have a different finish. The same finish, but something's different. And the good one looks cleaner. The windings are better, and it doesn't appear to be broken. Keep in mind, it's this one still works, but when you're using them on a dual system like this, you need them to be equivalent, otherwise you're driving askew. I think I'm going to order some more motors if I can. Gearboxes too but probably not from the same place as this place. Here's the original good and bad motors. And then I found very similar motors, same size, but the gearboxes are actually a little bigger. Still says 1000 RPM or 970, somewhere thereabouts, but it's actually a slightly taller gearbox. And from looking inside, it looked like it had an additional stage in there. But, not that you can see it, these had huge globs of grease in there. So that's nice. I tested the motors with my fingers, and they seem to be identical to each other. Very smooth, a little less coggy than those over there. We'll have to test them and check out the torque and stuff. I swapped those original gearboxes onto the new motors. A little bit of grease added. And then we'll see how these do. I just have to solder some of those wires on.
driving much straighter than before. We don't have the front cover on because that battery is probably bigger than we're going to end up with. Although we could fit it if it didn't have the wires. Eight eighteen 18 grams without battery. <laughs> 